It's Christmas Eve. So obviously we're going to do something Christmassy for this video. Maybe jump into Destiny 2 and check out the awesome Christmas stuff I've got going on. Do some more Fallout 76 holiday scorched hunting. Or some other third game I own with Christmas stuff. I don't know. I throw an example up here. No, instead we're playing Fallout. The original Fallout. Because I hate Christmas and it's going to burn and die like the world did. No, I figured we'd do the Ghost of Christmas Past for Christmas Eve. Ah, oh, it's... Screw it, I just figured I'd play Fallout. Yes, we're jumping into Fallout and taking a look at how the franchise series thing all began. Um, it was like this. Spoilers. So here is our first little point where, um... God, I don't know how horrible this is going to be to edit. But yes, here we have a character. And I was smart and watched Kato's Guide on Fallout 1 character creation about a week ago, and I've forgotten absolutely everything I need to know. But the one thing I do remember is you do your age, your name, and the thing, and how old am I? That's close enough. Anyway, I'll sort this out and make a perfect character who will in no way get instantly killed. So this is the build I'm going with. It's probably terrible, but you know what? Screw it, we'll die anyway. So here we are, at the start of the actual gameplay of Fallout, and I don't know if I'm going to include the FMV, because boy oh boy, does it um not really hold up quite as well as you might like. The game in general doesn't look great, but here we go, I have an inventory, I have stuff, look at this, that's me right there. If I click on myself, you see Sarge, look at that, and I can turn my facing. Isn't that perfect? And I can hover over myself and... Go skill decks and stuff. It's, this game is so self-explanatory and easy. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Yeah, there's a door there. That's Vault 13, the place where you start. And how do I... No, that's not how I do it. Okay, this is going to take me a while to work out. Ah, that's how... There's got to be a better way to move a camera. Oh yeah, I can just do it like this. So I haven't played Fallout in a while. But um, this will be easy, right? Because of course it will. I mean, how could it be anything other than easy? So here, I think I'm going to play it smart, and let's actually check my skills. Not in the skill decks. This one? No, that changes my weapon. Character, here we go. So you can see here, my big guns and energy weapons are at zero. I screwed myself on them, but school gun small guns is 45%, which is pretty good. Unarmed is 52%, and melee melee is 42 Well, what? If that's so much... Why is that base so much higher? I should probably just get rid of my knife. Yeah, let's screw the knife. Let's just punch everything in the face. Oh dear, I'm in combat. We don't have time to punch anything in the face. Okay, so what we can do here is swing a little rat and we can poke it in the eyes. Or we can miss, but we can poke it in the eyes. And it only costs us four action points. And actually, we've only got, yeah, we've only got six action points left. We have, I believe, ten. Yeah, we have ten action points. I built this character to be very good. So we can swing at it, and there we go, Cave Rat was hit for four points. And then we use the little green ticks up here, how many action points. Total you can possibly get is ten, because I've got ten agility. I get ten action points, and I missed. And then, oh, I have high sequence as well, which actually means I can attack again. So let's try and jab it in the eyes. A seven percent chance, that is, to hit it in the eyes. This is the predecessor to bats. And, yes, I missed, because, I mean, of course I missed. What did you think was going to happen? There we go, I hit the rat that time. Rat was, cave rat was hit for two points and was killed. Let's end combat. Perfect. And now we can go on to that. We can check, oh, that's my own inventory. We can check its inventory. And it's got nothing, so we're all good. And I can forget what I was doing last time. But yes, if you are familiar with uh, Fallout, this will be a nice trip down memory lane for you. If you're not familiar with Fallout, this is what it started off as. Yeah, this is like where 76 originally came from, you could say, but this was a Brian Fargo interplay game. So quite a bit different from... Oh, bugger out, okay. So here we punch for rat. We have now a 16% chance to hit the eyes because my unarmed skill, I'm now unarmed, was far better than my... I still missed the melee. And you just click on stuff. And it is a game I actually quite enjoy, which I really shouldn't, because I am very into first person- Oh, bugger you, rat. I'm going to punch your eyes out. There you go. 
No, I missed again. Okay, it's now just going to pwn me. But yes, I do actually quite enjoy... Oh, I did a kick! How cool is that? I do actually quite enjoy this game, despite the fact I'm much more of a first... Ah, kicked him in the face! Much more of a first-person shooter player than I am an old-school RPG player. I mean, this game is almost as old as I was, or am, or have been in the past. But yeah, I still very much enjoy it, and there's some great stuff to have from it. Although I did just, yeah, step on the rat when I didn't mean to. But you can do stuff like, let's sneak. There we go, we're now in sneak mode. I can move around a little stealthier, or I can double click and I start running and leave sneak. It's, it's nice stuff. Anyway, this is enough time in the cave, let's just punch everything and leave. Here we go outside of the vault, and now we can search around the map, although we can't actually see anything. But it is December, so it's seasonal. But here we go, we've been at Vault 13, you see the flickering mouse, if that even shows up on Catcher. Then if we head over east, yep, there's Vault 15 over this way. So we can just click on that, and our character, that tiny red dot, will start moving there throughout all of these squares. And you'll notice, the days and everything go by, we have 150 days before our vault dies. So this is on a bit of a timer, but you know what, that's not all bad, and oh, let's actually stop there in the worst possible place, and here we go, we've got this green circle, which is an unknown location. So let's check this place out. And, oh, you might have seen for a second there, hello stranger, welcome to Shady Sands. So let's take a look at this person, and you see Seth, leader of the guards of Shady Sands. He looks unhurt. And this is Katrina, who has a pretty smile, so we're going to talk to her. Welcome to Shady Sands, Traveller. My name is Katrina, she said in an oddly masculine voice. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are a few problems if you listen to what I have to say. Thanks, maybe later. So yes, this is Shady Sands, where the NCR comes from, who's a big famous faction that everyone loves because it happened to feature in New Vegas. And here we have our first little settlement, and a friendly location that isn't filled with rats who take off a bunch of our hit points. So in here, you can just kind of travel around and get to know the whole game itself. And make sure to double-click everywhere, or else you walk and you slowly lose your mind. And in here, we can see this bloke, who you see a short, stocky man. Is that who I was? No, this bloke, who I'll talk to. Hello, stranger, you look like you're new here. What's your name? And I'm Sarge. Good to meet you, I'm Ian. What do you do here, Ian? I was a guard for the merchants of the hub, however, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience may be make me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I even get to visit Junktown or the hub to do some trading, since I'm the only person here who has ever really left town. And where's this hub in Junktown? Hub is a big trading centre, bloody blah, 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 blah. That should tell us where those places are. Great. And there's Raiders, Rad Scorpions, Shady Sands, and Seth we can all ask about. And actually, can you give me directions to the Junk and Hubtown first? I think I've already done that. But yeah, you can talk about Rad Scorpions and various stuff that are very dangerous, have poisonous attacks. Talk to Aradesh about them if you want to fight some Rad Scorpions. I wasn't done talking to you, Ian. Do not walk away from me. Could you help me out? Your experience could be helpful. Tempting offer, since this place gets boring. Tell you what, stand and rate 100 caps and you've got a deal. How about a piece of the action instead? Alright, I'll help you out in exchange for my share of a loot. Let's go, it'll be good to get back into action. And immediately you have one of about four companions you can actually make in this game. And Ian will now do all of your fighting for you, because you are incompetent and Ian can actually do stuff. And Ian looks unhurt, and yep, you can still ask him stuff. And... what weapons are you skilled with? Good shot with just about any sort of pistol, and I can use a submachine gun too. Do not let him use a submachine gun. I also know how to handle a knife. Cool, and you can do like the little bars thing with him, because you can barter with just about anyone. And there's lots of cool stuff in the original Fallout. So, yeah. Now, further down in the village, we have this bloke over here. You see Aradesh. So let's go talk to him, because he's actually important. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... The best part is I don't have to voice him. So yeah, I'll just tell him I'm from a small village west of here, just exploring and mean you no harm. I know of no village to the west. Uh, are you saying you know every location from here to the ocean? As Dharma said, caution is life in troubled times. Your origin is not the issue. Your intent is. I will let you pass, but know this. Seth and I will watch you very, very closely. Do not even consider 
bringing trouble here. So like everyone in the Fallout games, they hate you, they wish you were dead, screw you, etc. And here, if we ask him what's going on around here... Oh my yes, great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. And help to get rid of them. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please, talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Cool, so now we just go over to Raslo. So here is Raslo, who is not voiced. This was a very small game back in the day. But yeah, we'll ask him about rad scorpions. And he says, not too much, they seem to be extremely large versions of a North American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, their poison has grown more potent, not diluted as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of my tests. And you seem well educated, what are you doing here? Doc Morbid in Junktown taught me some, and just because we live in stone huts doesn't mean we are less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. Yeah, it's very easy to offend people in this game, but there we go, scorpions. And let's talk to Seth about all of that. And I cannot get there. Well, let's now prove the game wrong. <laughs> By immediately walking over there. Yep, old game. Old game that doesn't let you do stuff sometimes because it's old. It's... I find it weird how people are like, oh my god, Fallout nowadays is so buggy and you can't do anything, and god, it's so broken. It's been like that from the start, it was just before it was technical limitations. Now it's too much technical stuff. So yep, good day, called Seth, I'd like some information. Tell me about the Rad Scorpions. Those damn Rad Scorpions have been after our Brahmin since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens. Last week they took my brother Jarvis. And uh, take me to the Red Scorpion Caves, please. I'll just murder them all for you. Uh, yep, are you sure? I'm definitely going. So here we go, to the Red Scorpion Cave. And at this point, I want to get my gun out. Because you'll see... Da, 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 da. Rad Scorpion. Rad Scorpion. Yeah, these things are big and nasty and will kill us, almost certainly. This is likely how we're going to end this video. But let's just charge them blindly, just to show you how grueling combat can be right at the start. You have literally seen pretty much everything I've done in this game. I'm actually going to... No, no let's not do that. Let's let's go in kind of blind how you normally would do if you were playing this game for the first time and hadn't done extensive research on it. So let's try and get over here. I'm gonna move over. Let's actually play it a tiny bit smart, I suppose, and sneak, seeing as we're here. We might as well. Because I think, oh, nope, here comes a red scorpion who charges at me. And we can now take a couple of shots at it. I've got a good small gun skill. So yep, four points hit. And six points hit. Then Ian shoots it as well. Man, 12 points because he appeared to get a critical. Nice, we are doing badass. There's some ammo there. Let's pick that up. Perfect. And let's also loot this dead scorpion. And it has a little stinger, which we've seen many times in future fallouts. So let's just go around and kill all the red scorpions and see how we can do on this little mission here. So the next one comes along and oh, all of a sudden, I get hit for 5 points. I only have 28 hit points, which you'll notice is low. Like, really low, but I just hit it for 10, and then for 10 again. And Ian just hit it for 12. So yeah, we are actually doing pretty well, because I've got a reasonable build, almost unintentionally. But you'll notice that everything dies pretty quick. I just checked, and it turns out I've got everything set to easy. So let's just pop it up to normal, and do a quick fight on that, because that'll probably make things a bit more realistic. It was feeling like the game was actually being nice to me, which this game doesn't do. So let's instead... Oh, I didn't even get a chance to properly fight then. Yep, let's just shoot at this mist. Okay, hit the red scorpion for 6 points. Ian hit it for 10, and for 10 and killed it. Nice. And, nope, let's actually see if we can... Yep, we can end combat nice. Let's go over here. Get that other Rad Scorpion aggroed. And see how this fight goes for us. So, I missed. Oh, and I hit it. Critically hit it for 10. And Ian... Man, Ian is an utter boss. So, finally... Let's turn it up to... Okay, that's game difficulty. There we go, rough. Which is the top of the three different difficulties. And go fight these last few scorpions that are kicking about. 
and see how this all goes. Oh, Ian's fallen a fair bit behind, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I, like I said, I've made a pretty good build, and Ian has missed. But you'll notice I've got really high sequence, so I can just shoot the Rad Scorpions over and over again. And so can Ian, actually. Perfect. One Rad Scorpion down, combat over. Aren't we, boss? Look at that. Let's take another tail. So, back we go. Fight more Rad Scorpions. Man, if they all attack me at once, I'm screwed, but I'm actually thinking... For narrative purposes, I was gonna... I'm out of ammo. Cool. I was thinking I was gonna die. But that doesn't appear to be the case. What I can do, though, is do an aim shot in... Oh, the eyes is 32% chance. Let's do the brain for 62. That seems reasonable. So, I missed. So, if I end my turn, you notice this thing, AC is armor class, and it goes up by the amount of action points I was missing, which actually makes me a tad bit stronger. So, let's go back to norm no, normal shots, please. Let's use some of these shots. Bang. Bang. We should actually... I think we're going to do this with ease. Even on hard difficulty. Damn, I actually built a good character in the first Fallout. This is rare. Oh, but here we go. I just got hit for seven points and have been poisoned. So things might start going bad. I should hopefully prove my point of these games are difficult and different. What is my point? I can't remember what my point is. Anyhow, here's some enemies. Watch them... Get wrecked by Ian. God damn it, Ian's so good. Let's shoot Ian. I shot the scorpion. The scorpion's 95% chance. Ian's 45. I miss. Oops, Rad Scorpion was hit instead of Ian. There we go, I shot Ian. Hit him for 8 points. And then Ian still kills the thing for me. And... Oh, we can't shoot... Oh, we can shoot Ian in the green, though. Oh, I missed. Okay. Is Ian yeah, now Ian's gonna fight back. So yeah, if you accidentally shoot your companions... Oh. Ian's very strong. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. Well, there we go. That is the original Fallout. And I just wanted to give this video as kind of a bit of a walk down memory lane for the players who have previously played this game and enjoyed it, maybe grew up with it, and a bit of a look back for all of the 76 fans I've got on the channel who are like, oh man, I've never really played the really old previous Fallout games. Like, look, copyright 1997. This game's like 20 something years old. That's crazy. So it's, it's a bit of an old game. I figured it would give a nice little perspective of Brian Fargo's Fallout. And because a lot of people are like, Oh man, Fallout should have been back with Interplay, the people who made this, and should have stayed how it was and not changed. And that's been a whole theme ever since, I don't know, probably the third Fallout game, which isn't actually Fallout 3, but the third Fallout game or Fallout 3, people have been complaining that Fallout should have stayed as Fallout was. So tomorrow, as an alternate reality Ghost of Christmas future, we will be playing Wasteland 2, where I'll show you what the Fallout franchise would be like if Brian Fargo had retained control of it and not done anything too different, had just stuck with this type of game. So tune in to that tomorrow. For now though, I'll wish you all a Merry Christmas, because that'll be tomorrow. I should probably do that tomorrow's video. Screw it, the holidays exist. You're going to enjoy them whether or not I wish you a Merry Christmas, so just eat good food or something, I don't know. Sarge out.